I'm off out to the shop to buy some more plants so I can grow them out of this aquarium hydroponically. And I have managed to get some beauties. Growing houseplants out of your aquarium will improve your water quality. They're going to absorb the ammonia, the nitrites, the nitrates that are all produced by fish waste. They're also going to compete with algae for the nutrients that algae thrives on. So growing houseplants out of your aquarium is a great way of controlling algae growth in your fish tank. They're also going to oxygenate the water. They will offer hiding places for your fish, for fry, for shrimp. But not only will it improve the water quality, they will also look aesthetically beautiful as they grow from your fish tank. Unfortunately though, you cannot grow every single house plant out of your aquarium. So make sure that you do your homework first so you do not poison your fish. So today, I have got two plants that I know I can definitely grow out of the aquarium. I've bought this beautiful peace lily, which is actually three plants in that tub. And I have also got the devil's ivy, also known as the golden pothos. But first, we need to do a little bit of prep work. We need to knock off all the soil give the roots a good washing just to make sure there is no soil on them and then get them ready to attach to the rear of the aquarium. So we'll start by removing the pot. And try to get as much of the soil away from the roots as possible. So I've removed as much of the soil as possible by hand and then I've run it under the shower to actually remove all the soil from the roots. The first plant I'm going to do is the peace lily. Now I'm going to fix this to the back of the tank using these. These are what I got off Amazon. They are actually made for fitting on the back of your tank. They have a screw that goes through so it fits flush with your aquarium and they have holes in there for the roots to penetrate. They're actually there for, they're actually made for growing plants out of your aquarium. But because these are quite established plants, what I've actually done is make a hole in this one. And they actually, what I've done is cut between the slats or the slits in it. So as the roots go through, it is gonna hold it all into place and I will pack the actual plant with filter floss just to make sure that it is nicely secure and we'll get that into the tank. Okay, so I've pulled the roots through and what I've actually done is put a trailing pothos in there as well, which I, had, I actually had growing on the tank anyway. And now we will get this into the tank. So the peace lily's in, I packed it out with filter floss. The next plant is the pothos and my aim for this is to keep it on the pole and kind of have the pole outside the aquarium with the roots inside the aquarium going through one of the cages and hopefully that will keep it firmly in place. Both plants are now securely in position using the plastic boxes. All the roots are submerged in the water and we'll now be stripping out those nutrients as we discussed earlier. The peace lily is looking awesome. It's stood nice and upright. I only wish that it had been attached to a pole like the devil's ivy was. What I thought would be a nightmare with the pole actually made securing the devil's ivy to the tank a lot easier. I did trim the roots of the devil's ivy because they were super long. 
But as you can see, the tank now looks aesthetically beautiful. I will let YouTube select which video you watch next. No doubt I'll be there. Until then, take care.